Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 5 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5 equals to 1. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. So let's go ahead and rearrange these factors. I am going to combine this x plus 2 and x plus 5 together and x plus 3 times x plus 4 together and likewise in the denominator I'm going to put these together x minus 2 and x minus 5 together and then this x minus 3 and x minus 4 together and now our equation looks like this one here we put together x plus 2 and x plus 5 and we took put together x plus 3 and x plus 4 and likewise in the denominator x minus 2 x minus 5 and likewise x minus 3 and x minus 4. Now let's go ahead and multiply these first two factors by using a double distribution like this one over here. So if we multiply this one we are going to get x square plus 5x plus 2x plus 10. And likewise, we're going to multiply these two remaining factors by double distribution. So we are going to get x square plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. And now likewise, we're going to multiply these two factors in the denominator by double distribution. So we are going to get x square minus 5x minus 2x plus 10. And now finally we are going to multiply these two factors by using the double distribution as well. So we are going to get x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 12 and this is equal to 1 on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms and here in this next step I can write this 12 as 10 plus 2 and likewise in the denominator this part I want to write down 12 equals to 10 plus 2 and now let's observe this thing on the top this x square plus 7x plus 10 and this x square plus 7x plus 10 they are same and likewise in the denominator this part x square minus 7x plus 10 and this part x square minus 7x plus 10 they are same. So therefore if we call this part u then this part is going to become u plus 2 and likewise in the denominator if I call this part as v then this part is going to become v plus 2. So therefore we are going to let this u equal to x square plus 7x plus 10 and v equal to x square minus 7x plus 10 then our this equation is going to become simply u times u plus 2 divided by v times v plus 2 equals to 1 and now let's go ahead and distribute this one over here so we are going to get u square plus 2u divided by v square plus 2v equals to 1. 
Now let's go ahead and put one underneath this one to make it a fraction. And now let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we are going to get u square plus two u equal to v square plus two v. And now let's go ahead and move all these terms to the left. So we're gonna get u square minus v square plus 2u minus 2v equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and use this formula a square minus b square for this part. So this could be written as u minus v times u plus v. And over here, this part here, I can factor out 2. So this has become u minus v equal to zero. And now here we can factor out this u minus v and u minus v. And now let's go ahead and factor them out u minus v since they are in common. So we are left with u plus v plus two equal to zero. Now since these two factors are equal to zero, I can separate them. I can put u minus v equal to zero and the other one is gonna be u plus v plus two equal to zero. And on this side over here, this is going to become simply u equal to v. So thus we got these two equations u equals to v and this another equation is u plus v plus 2 equal to 0. And here's our next step. So we got these two equations and we know our u equals to x square plus 7x plus 10 and v equal to x square minus 7x plus 10. So let's go ahead and replace this u and v value. So u is a we have x square plus 7x plus 10 equal to v in our case is x square minus 7x plus 10 and here we can see that this x square x square cancels out positive 10 and positive 10 cancels out so we ended up with the 7x equal to negative 7x. Let's move this negative 7x on the other side. Let's divide both sides by 14. So our x value turns out to be 0. And now let's focus on this equation. Let's replace u and v. So this is going to become x squared plus 7x plus 10 plus our v is x squared minus 7x and then plus 10 and then plus 2 equal to 0. Now let's combine the like terms. This negative 7x and positive 7x, they are gone. So we ended up with a 2x square plus 22 equal to 0. Let's move this 22 on the other side. Let's divide both sides by Two, so we got x square equal to negative 11 and now let's take the square root on both side so our x value turns out to be positive or negative i times square root of 11 and where i is always equal to square root of negative one and i is called imaginary number and sometimes people call it iota. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to zero and that is the only real solution. The other solution x equal to positive or negative square root of 11 times i is an imaginary solution which is non-real. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.